Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. It's Monet here. It feels so good to say my intro again, like, hi. I'll just take a deep breath. This week has been much needed for me. I'm excited to kiki and catch up and actually do a weekly vlog. I needed the break last week. I have been feeling so many things emotionally and mentally just kind of working through so many things. I feel better for it now. I feel like today's the day where I'm just like, okay, I feel better. I took my time off, like genuinely took a week off, which I've never done in my two years of doing this like full time. Like I've taken like, you know, a Sunday upload off, but like, always active on like my other platforms or anything this past week y'all crickets and that honestly tore me up like mentally i just i hated that feeling it was just a war in my mind y'all it was just a war going on i'm just like you should enjoy this time off just genuinely enjoy it because also it was fourth of july last week so basically everyone was off last week so that's usually like when people take their vacation days. Also, it's like middle of the summer. So I didn't really have any like, I didn't have any calls. I didn't have any deliverables. I didn't have anything due. So part of me was just like, let me just enjoy this. And it was my first week at home since my whole traveling of June. So I know I don't need to explain myself, but I just want to let you know where I've been mentally and why it feels so good to right now just like pick up the camera for the first time in a while since like, right? Okay, I vlogged in London, which honestly I felt like shit about. I was just like, this is such a short, sad vlog. Ugh, I don't know, y'all. There was lots of layers to the mental this past week. Um, also physically, I have not been taking care of myself. So this past week I've been in the gym every day. I've been eating good every day and really just prioritizing that because it's easy to lose it. Like I've realized with travel, like it's my responsibility. Like just because a drink is offered, just because there are many food options, doesn't mean I need to indulge every fucking time every flight i'm like champagne every room service i'm like mm, let me try this let me try this and some dessert like girl you don't need to do that lots of things i've just i've, I've realized i'm ranting right now i missed you i hope you're doing so well i hope you're enjoying your summer i hope you're grinding i hope you're happy i hope you're prioritizing yourself and i'm just happy to be back girl also last week i was supposed to close in the house on Friday so I kind of was prepping the whole week for that and I was super excited and it got pushed so that honestly was just like a punch in the gut and I was just like fuck this like I'm just I'm just fully not posting at all you know because even on Friday I could have like got a YouTube video together that's what I was planning to do and kind of just like the first day moving in and then just like putting that video together and having it up last Sunday so that got pushed and I was just like listen shit happens let me actually, let's keep talking while I get my food together. We're going to the gym, so I'm just gonna prep my yogurt, my lunch, cause I'm going to mom's right after. I'm so excited to see granny. Also, we have another surprise too, which if you're following my mom, you already know. Well, at this point, at this point, you've probably already seen it. You've probably already seen him, Mr. Cashew, but Mr. Man. So cute and little and I'm obsessed. My mom actually got a fucking puppy. Can you believe that? <laughs> I'm obsessed with him. He is so cute. And ever since he came home, I've gone and seen him every single day. Which is really nice to see my mom and hang out with my mom too. Because you know, I miss my granny. Like, I feel like I just travel so much now that whenever I am home, I'm just like, be at home. I want to be alone. I'm going to hit Whole Foods later. Also, I've been trying to plan my grocery shopping based on like when I move into my new place. Because I'm like, I don't want to get so much stuff. And then like, I don't know. I just don't want anything to go bad. So ran out of raspberries, so I definitely need to get some of those. I have one more banana left. I love when I eat, actually eat my groceries, like when shit just doesn't go bad, like that's amazing. Okay, so my health journey right now is basically no unnecessary drinking. I feel like it's become a habit just to like, you know, if you get a meal, I'm just like, why not get a drink? Like you don't have to drink with every fucking meal. Like it's cute, it's fun, but I think like, I need to just check myself sometimes. Like no hookah. Because, you know what, Buki actually has a hookah. And it started to get real fun. And I'm just like, no, I don't wanna, this is why I can't get one for myself. <laughs> and these are just like my kind of sh sh 
short term goals just to get myself back on track. I know you hear me, you hear me, you hear me, girl. So these are for Coochie Health. Love that. And then I actually ran out of my, my eight greens. I love the eight greens. They're like multivitamins, but until then I'm just, I just like the gummies. These fucking lemmy ones are just so good. They taste so fucking good. And these are concentration. And I feel like I can use it today. That's a good, good. What else is in my goals? Be active like five out of the seven days of the week. Preferably six, preferably like every day, just like do something, go on a walk, go to the park, prioritize being active, drinking my water. I've been on my kombucha kick lately again. Like I just love a good probiotic. Also my other goal is to cook at home, make at home meals, okay? This is just, these are just things that make me, will make me feel, just be more the best version of myself. Cause quickly when I start feeling like shit, everything else just like, I need to be on a routine. I need to be on taking care of yourself is so important in so many ways. So these are things that make me feel good. It's different for everybody, but making at home meals. I've been making, last night I made a salad, a chicky salad. I'll probably make air fry wings tonight. I have them good, super easy, super good, super clean. Like, you know, those are the, some good whole food chicken. And I'll probably have like celery, cucumbers, carrots on the side, like so good. It's so filling. And you know, it's 10 o'clock right now. I'll get to the gym like 10 30. I'm gonna do like today's gonna be cardio day. So I'm gonna try to do like an hour of cardio, probably 12 3 30. 15 minutes on the stairmaster, 15 minutes on the elliptical, just to like switch it up. Sometimes it just be too long just doing one thing. So I do my cardio and then I um I always do core. I feel like that's that's my baseline is just cardio and core if I'm not doing anything at the gym. 12 through 30 and then like 100, this is one machine that I really like, 100 crunches and then kettlebells on the side. Yesterday I did a really good fucking leg day and oh my God, I'm chirping to you and I really could just be moving at the same time. Like, girl, okay, let's move, let's fire. Let's, 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 let's be efficient. <sighs> I had to get this off my chest, I had to talk to my girls. So since I'm going to mommy's today, I'm gonna bring my actual, so this is my travel bag, y'all. This is from Base, the travel bag. It's so good, it's so good, it's so convenient. I finally upgraded my like travel bag because I was using this big ass tote that was just like not for traveling and she was not doing, it was time. <laughs> so I'm super happy to have that one. And also I got this other one from Base and they so kindly sent me new luggage too. So it's all the same color. It's like this nice nude. And it, it was so nice y'all to unpack my suitcase fully put everything away because i've i've left my suitcase house out since like january this year i've left it out and just left it kind of just like these are my travel stuff i have like my travel hair travel skin travel makeup and i leave them all in the suitcase and like i have my at home stuff which is really nice but i actually put everything away because i don't plan on traveling for july or august like end of august is my first like plans to get on a plane i'm really excited i hope you guys are excited and to really just enjoy the house for like one last hoorah i'm gonna miss it i am and it just gave me chills i'm sure we'll have a lot more sobby talk about leaving this apartment because that's we literally grew up here y'all like oh my god i don't even want to get into it anyway this is another bag from base i didn't get a chance to use yet but i feel like today's gonna be the perfect day i'll probably go grocery shopping on the way home you know what is really nice y'all buki was here for the past week and we kind of just it was really just like living together and we've this is the longest trip, stretch we've spent together which was 10 days which was amazing we really learned a lot about each other and it was like super nice to just get in a routine together see how we work together see how we really just hit our like you know be productive and we learned a lot which i loved and i feel like it's really i'm so grateful that we get to just do that and be flexible with you know our careers and we can work outside of our home. So, yeah. But it was so nice having him. He's like, oh, he is so helpful. He is so helpful. Like, I don't, girl, you know, we independent, independent women. Like, we can take care of ourselves. But, um, mm, he wanted to lift the back here. He wanted to carry these things. He's like, oh, I already took out the trash. I was like, huh? Oh, okay. And like groceries and stuff so anyway when i'm by myself this is how i move in you gotta think think ahead because last thing i'm doing is taking two trips from the car no matter how many groceries we have we are carrying it on the body one trip upstairs to the fridge it's like my everyday purse you know that's you she always gets room in here i'm actually gonna wear this on top today to get my little sweat on this is from set active 
This is like a jumper one piece. It has like a yoga. It has like a yoga bottom. So cute. So like comfy. I feel really like secure in this. Which I realized too, like a lot of the workout sets I have, I am not comfortable wearing when I'm trying to like, when I'm not feeling the best, you know? Oh wait, this is backwards. Oh, so the boobs are supposed to, the front's supposed to be out like this? Really cute. I don't know if, the, I honestly don't think it's supposed to be worn together. This is different. This is different. This is different. <laughs> right, let's talk some more when we get in the car because I do want to fill you in on last week. Even though I was doing a whole lot of nothing, I was doing a whole lot of something. I just want to share with you guys. In Jersey, I don't know if y'all know, there was like a bag, like a plastic shortage or something like that during COVID or like a bag shortage. I don't I think I had to do with plastic though. So they converted to like all recyclable bags and you had to buy them. Like you, when you go grocery shopping, you had to buy bags or buy your own. So that's still the case now. And yeah, these are my bags for groceries. Kombucha this morning instead of coffee. I'm trying to like slowly wean off coffee too. Just not be so dependent on things. Coffee is really good though. I'm not gonna lie. We know this. Okay, so let's continue talking in the car. Let's go. Moon vibration, yeah. Oh, baby, baby, you won't break my soul. Release your up, release your mind, release your up. Yes. I feel like I want to fully catch up so that we can continue like on real pace. But I was just thinking, what was I even saying? Let's continue talking in the car. Okay, these ones are from Prada. I don't know if you guys saw, I got them um, before. Oh, they're so good. I love them. So just sleek and clean and hmm, they're gray too. They match this outfit. Like I'm looking cute. I feel like they match almost every outfit. It's kind of crazy. Basically, okay, last week, trying to get back on my Zoom, I got a facial from my girl, my local queen, Harley. I got a hydrofacial from her and she does like dermaplaning, hydrofacial, lymphatic drainage. She did a peel on me last time, a jelly mask red light blue light therapy like it's a whole thing it took like two hours and i love i'm excited to be on this like skin journey oops sorry sorry girl i don't know it's really exciting to be on the skin journey i'm just like getting fresh new skin but this last time y'all my skin was breaking out when i was like going to get the facial and um i thought the facial was gonna like i don't know suck everything out and just be like a brand new start but actually my skin decided to purge so bad. Oh no, now the camera's too hot. Okay, this is not gonna work. I'm actually just gonna drive to the gym. I'm gonna fill you guys in when I get to mom's. We're gonna talk to mom, hang out with Cashew, do some editing. So, ah, I'm so excited. This is the shit that makes my world go round. Like, I love my family. I love my mommy. I love my new brother, my new baby brother. He's so cute. Anyway, <laughs> let's go. Hi vlog, I killed the gym. <laughs> I was on a phone call and look who came out. Are you obsessed with him right now? Excuse me, Buki, let me take my shoes off. I'm gonna step on you. Are you excited to see sister? Are you excited to see sister? Hi, stink of butt. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? My daily dose of serotonin? Yeah. Hi, Mom. Hi, babe. Hi, Vlog. Hi. Haven't seen you in a minute. In a minute. <laughs> Your girl has been resting. <laughs> I Mom. gave him his medicine. Did you? Oh, the second day, huh? Mm -hmm. He did not like that <laughs> at all. What did you have to put in his mouth? Yes. And I was trying to, I was trying to like, you know, just use my finger to like prop his mouth open. I finally got it open and then I shot it in there real quick and he was like, <laughs> just a, <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. look at him. So cute. He did, he did so good last night. So he ended up, all right, so he was in the bed with me. And then Gabriel, and it was around like 9.30, and Gabriel said, he was like, I'm going to put him to bed. I said, okay, babe. So it was like 11 o'clock. Gabriel comes to bed and fucking like sleeps with him. You know, like just gets all cuddled. And I had like a scene in my head. I was like, he's going to roll over him and suffocate him. I was like, I can't. I was like, yeah. babe, he needs to go in his crate. Okay, okay. So it comes out here. And I should have recorded him. <laughs> he was literally laying. He didn't come back. 
So he was laying there next to him so he wouldn't like whine and stuff like that. Be real? Yes. Oh no. And I was like, babe. You gotta no. train him. I was like, yeah. I was like, you gotta let him whine for a little bit. So. Do get him. He whined for like 10 minutes and then he was good. And then when I woke up around 5.30, I let him out. So. Yay. Yeah, yeah he's a good, good baby. What, well, this is the second day at home? Yeah. Your second night at home. Mm -hmm. And then I put him in the in the bag over here, and he was just as quiet. He was like, "Okay, I'm ready." <laughs> you know, he just got real comfortable, real quick in his little bag, his little tote bag. And no, look at him. Yeah. You want to introduce your baby? You want to tell them some some things about him? About Cashew? Yeah, his name is Cashew. Uh -huh. He's how old is he? He's nine weeks old. Nine weeks old. Uh -huh. He's a golden doodle. Nope. He's a poodle. Shih Tzu. <laughs> He's a mini poodle. He's a mini poodle. He's just yeah. a poodle. He's a purebred poodle, just mini. Oh, damn. I lied on my pics on that. <laughs> I called him a golden doodle. Well, that's what we were looking for. Well, what makes him What makes him a golden doodle when it's a uh, golden retriever? Yeah. And a poodle mix. Look at him. He's a mm -hmm. mini poodle. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. So we are just so in love. He's such a good baby. So they said... Um, we have to schedule his appointment to get his final vac vaccines in two weeks. Mm -hmm. So he'll be about 11 weeks. And then from there, we can Take him walk outside. him outside. But he's yeah. still going to be so tiny. A little bird yeah. going to pick him up. Yeah. So. He's like, he's not real, y'all. Mm -hmm. And you know what, too? It's giving me a more of a reason to come over and say hi to mommy. <laughs> Which I love. I love this. I come by every day, though. Get your little fix. You just think about it. Look, he's yeah. so tiny. He's going to be like eight pounds. No, no. Oh, yeah. His uh, max. His parents are. His mom is a little bit bigger than a dad, but around eight pounds. Well, he's like he's like four pounds now. Yeah, I think they. I think his registration was like four point nine or something. So he won't get that much bigger. But like I said, mm. I saw some TikToks out there when they said, "Yeah, my baby was supposed to be fifteen max." Meanwhile, you got this. No, <laughs> you can tell he got little bones. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, he's just the cutest. I don't think he still responds to his name just yet. He's getting there, though. And he snores. He snores. Mm -hmm. And I got him his favorite toy. Yeah. <laughs> he's so cute, y'all. My camera's about to die. I'm about to charge it. I'm going to eat my lunch right now. We'll check in a little bit. Yeah. Guys, of course I left my vlog camera at my mom's house. And I'm already, like, halfway home. But I'm at Whole Foods right now. And I wanted to vlog me browsing and getting my groceries. And I'm surprisingly less shy of vlogging on my phone than on my camera in the store. It's less intimidating. Everyone has a phone. It's fine. Because we got in the cart so far. I literally only brought two bags because I swore I wasn't going to get that much stuff. But the freshness is just John thinks me. Like this romaine. Romaine. And then I'm trying to boss up my salad. So tomato, avocado. You know what I'm saying? Ran out of cheese, I forgot. We got some like baby lettuce, some celery, carrots, spring mix to just give it some more like life, you know? And then these are like pre-seasoned kind of chicken, so I don't know. I might just try them. Usually I just get my chicken like this for the air fry wings. These are, this is my tea, but I'm like, if they already have them seasoned, like I might as well just try it. I think we ran out of bacon and sausage because Buki is a breakfast fiend. So he likes like this kind of vibe. And then we like our chicken, apple, sausage. Donde? This one it? Chicken sausage. Organic apple. I think this is the one. They're really fucking good. I think we're good on creamers. I do need yogurt. That is that is what I need. And I got whole milk yogurt last time. And I don't know if I like that. So let's see. I tried the cashew one before I didn't like. See, this is the one I have right now. So I wouldn't mind like the non-fat ones, like low fat. But y'all don't give me no flavors. Why are they plain? Can't I can't be living that bland. But anyway, I feel uncomfortable. I feel like people are watching me now, so I'm gonna wrap it up. See you at home. Hi, vlog girls. Jump scare on the forehead. Honestly, I don't think I'm meant to wear these headbands. <laughs> We're making my forehead look big as hell. Okay, we talked yesterday. I finished the vlog at Whole Foods, right? Mom picked me up this morning and we went to go sign some papers and not the closing ones, right? But it was like in the process to like finalize those steps and originally i was supposed to close on friday like what 
This is my last time speaking about it, I think, because I like to share the journey. And I feel like this isn't something that's like, I only like to share things once they're like solidified, once they're legit, once they're real, once it's done and signed and done and deal is closed. But this is one of those things where it's like, okay, I'm excited. I'm not gonna tell you when exactly I'm gonna close, but it's gonna be soon. Everyone's like, someone got an evil eye on you. Like you can't say it until it's done. Like you shouldn't have said anything. So this is the last time I'm gonna say something about it. But yeah, it was supposed to be this Friday. And it was supposed to be last Friday. And it was supposed to be the Friday before. But you know what? Everything happens for a reason. And it's gonna close when it's supposed to close. But I really was like, I'm banking on it. Like there's so many things I'm planning around it. So anyways, I was in my funk today. It's literally 4 p.m. now. And I'm about to get to work. I'm about to get to work and I'm actually really excited. I'm about to take a shower and try out some new hair masks that I've been wanting to. This like trio from Redken. Heard really good things about this hair mask. So hopefully it gives just shine and bounce and moisture and all of it. And then I bought the new, I bought another blow dry brush because I ended up breaking my attach attachment. So I'm super excited to use my fresh new ass blow dry brush. It's gonna give, it's gonna give. It's Wednesday, right? So my hair will be good by Saturday. By Saturday, I'm gonna have to put it in a ponytail. We're gonna have to figure out something cause she's gonna be a little oily. But we're gonna do a full like hair reset right now. And then I'm gonna film two campaigns, one for makeup, one for body care and then I'm gonna make my dinner and I'm gonna play Fortnite for the rest of the night because I did my thing I also do want to edit some I really didn't do much else today besides be in the car for five hours with my mom round trip and scroll on TikTok I'm excited to see Buki tomorrow so the plan was to basically close and then just like stay in my new place this weekend with an air mattress and just vibes because I have plans in New York. So I was gonna just like kind of go back and place for my new place. I was so excited. But now I need to go look in two hotels. And I also need to pack for New York. So maybe we'll do that together later. Let's do that. Pack for New York. And I hope to, honestly, I'll do furniture shopping in New York, I think on Friday. That's my plan. And then maybe clothing shop for some concerts coming up. So that's, that'll be my plans for like the next few days. Let's get to showering. I just say chicken wings with my red lips on. <laughs> Let me take this off. How pretty is this look though? Mm, you guys have to wait and see what I just did. <sighs> Those were hot ass wings. Like my mouth, I literally just picked up the camera. I just finished eating. Um, but turns out I'm actually going to New York right now. Not tomorrow morning. And I'm starting to pack. I have like three campaigns I need to film up there now that I'm going early, a day early. I was gonna film two tomorrow morning, but okay we go with the wind where it blows i'm bringing my xbox we're playing fortnite yes and i'm about to shower actually right i'm like do i shower now like do i pull up on buki with this makeup on or do i just it's not that serious because i'd want to take it off anyway because i feel like i don't even wear makeup that much anymore i'm just like i face something and i was like i love that look i love the red lips and i was like ah. i'm probably gonna shower and take it off i'd rather pull up clean and fresh like that's my vibe you know what too my tooth gem it popped off my butterfly. So I have, I still have a few left though. I noticed these ones are super low key though. You can't really see them at all. Okay, so let's pack. So we can be productive. I'm gonna pack my tripod, my desk tripod, and my standing tripod. We have one campaign, two campaign, three pink campaigns being delivered tomorrow. So we're good on that. I'm gonna pack my makeup. I need to pack my laptop, my laptop charger, so we can edit this YouTube vlog for you guys this weekend. You know, cause we're back on our grind. We had a week off, we fell back, we had a baby, you know? What did Cardi say? Or wait, what did Nikki say? Ooh. And then we are going shopping. So I'm not that pressed to even like sweat about this right now. Can I prop this right here? That is perfect. Okay, so this rack right here is basically just new clothes that I'm excited to style and wear. I feel like she can definitely have a moment this week. It's a pink like shirt dress. Super comfortable, confident. It is a little loud. I don't like to wear that loud of colors. But I feel like one of the events that we're doing this week, I can be a little extra. Whether that's... I do have a birthday party though and I'm just like, it might be a little too much to wear hot pink to someone's birthday party. Like, it's not your birthday, Monet. So I probably won't wear it that night. But I have a dinner tomorrow. I have a dinner Friday too. So I'm like, you know, sometimes you can be, it's okay to be extra. It's okay to wear hot pink. It's okay. Because Monet is sometimes extra. I'm going to bring this pink Armani bag to wear with it. 
And maybe we can wear just like baby pink heels. These ones I've been wanting to wear, they might be a little too baby doll. Who makes the rules? It's the Barbie premiere this week, right? I do really like these as well. These are really fun. Pink undertone and I also can dial it down a little bit. <laughs> Not this being dialed down. But these are really cute. I can wear like a black bag with it then. Right? Right? And I can just wear like a little... I really am loving this Brandon Blackwood. This textured one. I like that. I like that. Black and pink. I really wouldn't typically pair that together, but that can be for one of the dinners. Ooh, I can wear this tomorrow. This is from Odd Muse. Love. Part of me wants to wear this for... Actually, no. Never mind. I'm not gonna say it. Now I feel like if I wear this, it's kind of like... It's a longer blazer. I, you can wear it as a dress, but I am not. I think it's supposed to go with a pair of shorts, which I'm like... It is summer. Should I wear a pair of shorts with it? Like, it would be like a peekaboo short, so it's really not that serious. Okay, I lowered the exposure so you could probably see it a little better. I did it! Finally fucking did it, but I'm looking a little dark. No. Oh, I was saying I did have this diesel skirt I didn't get to wear yet. This could be a little sleigh. It's like a little white pump. Not even white pump, I could do this one. Oh, she gives with it! She gives with it! Oh, who's the stylist? Monty. Okay. <laughs> So I got two like little dinner outfits. I could wear her in the morning for like a little coffee run. I love a good Teddy Fresh. I also have this Godzilla one from Teddy Fresh. Or not, ah, not Godzilla, Marvel. They're Marvel Club. I do like this one a lot. And I've really been into like a button up, like loose button up. That, gotta bring my big blue jeans, I don't care. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I mean, it's also like, I can wear a little mini skirt with that. Okay, I'm having some fashion fun. I think I'm gonna bring this red bag so I can wear a red lipstick with that. That's a look, that's a fucking look. That's a fucking look. And then I did get this new shirt. This is probably my favorite shirt I've gotten in a while. So simple, it's like an open back cross tie. I really like the cut of it. I feel like if I'm feeling a little fit, maybe tomorrow breakfast I can wear this. Cause we're meeting Buki's mom. So you know, I gotta keep it cute, but keep it like, you know, keep it cute, but not too much. So I feel like this would be good with, I don't wanna wear my big baggy jeans, I feel like, you know, people love them, you can hate them, but I want to play it a little safe. A little safer. I do have a pair of skinnier jeans that I give. Probably do these with like my Jordans. And I know on top of this I'm going shopping, so I think after this one I should be cool. Like I don't want to do entirely too much. I love New York. See, New York inspires me. This is also a really good top. Which I feel like date night, if anything, I could pop her on. Girls, I fear that we just ate that up and down. I also do have this Jean-Paul Gaultier. I might wear it to the birthday party, maybe. Is that too extra? I don't know, y'all. I'm gonna just bring it. So I really am just gonna bring my black, black heels, white heels, fun heels. And then for bags, I have my black bag. I'll probably bring two sweatsuits. So we have my sweatsuit tower right here. I'll do the green one. She's my most comfortable. I'll probably wear her up. I might just wear this one on the ride up because that's just how I do. I'm really liking talking through this with you guys. Are we having fun? This is the pile of clothes I just got together. Oh my god. Here's my second closet. Here are some more sweatsuits that I'm like, I'm gonna wear this gray set. She's safe. And now I just need some workout stuff. Okay, let me get the rest of this stuff together. Thanks for helping me though, guys. That was really fun. Let's head up to the city. Bring us somewhere, take us somewhere, show us something. Then it's actually all positive. And so I love that one. That to me is a tremendous reminder. And I'll say the last one, I mean, there's a lot of them. We got a lot of them, but the last one I would say is um, um, I surround myself with things that are good for me. That's really, really important. That's another one that I struggled with for a while and, and just a reminder that, you know, you have to feel good with what, who's around you, what's around you, the things around you. If you don't, you actually do have the ability to change that and, but first you have to recognize that you don't feel good with it. So to be able to say, I, I surround myself with things that are good for me. What I eat or who I'm with or where I'm going or what I'm choosing, whatever the case. Um, it's pretty powerful part of that part of that way that you deliver it yourself. Hey vlog. Hi vlog. What do you want to say? We're going to hook the spot. Ooh, you should have made them guess. <laughs> no, I don't like to make people guess. Y'all got one guess where we're going. Yeah. Fit check? Mommy? <laughs> Converse, Carhartt. Carhartt. Oh wait, Carhartt. I thought these Teddy were, Fresh. I thought these were Carhartt ones. Excuse me, I'm so sorry, Teddy Fresh. Listen, these are the Marvel drop. I knew that. A rude, rude shirt. How rude. How rude. <laughs> You're so corny. 
<laughs> okay, give him me. Fit check, Wait, let's see. Also, gotta check my tag first. Okay. Tag. What's the tag? What's the tag? You can't see it. It's Marquis Marquess Al Almeida. 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 Marquess Almeida. Sure. What about these? Ooh, you gotta ask Alon. Alon knows. Alon, please let him know. Not getting spotted while trying to make YouTube spotted. updates. Like, One thing, if y'all spotted someone, just come over and say hey. Don't be awkward. Because sometimes when people linger a little too long, and I'm just like, now we uncomfortable right now. <laughs> like, just say something. Like, what? Because I don't want to be weird and be like, are you looking at me? Do you know me? We see each other? Anyways, beat by me, M U A Monte. What's it giving? What flavor are you feeling tonight? What flavor? Yeah. Oh, hookah? Uh huh. <gasps> I don't know. I love a good surprise. Mmm, I feel like a good fruity one. Like what? Like that. What was that one? This flavor is called straw booty. We'll do strawberry something. Straw booty. Straw. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Shut up. This is my favorite cover girl, Yummy Gloss. Straw booty. Straw booty. Sha 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 booty. Roll call. <laughs> my name is Jalen. Yeah, hey. I'm going to hookah. Yeah, and that's my girl. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. We get straw booty. Yeah, we like that fruity. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good morning, New York. Morning, neighbors. Hey, vlog. Creating some pics. Hey, y'all. We're in West Elm. We landed. And it's so beautiful in here. This freaking drink is so good. The purple drink. I snapped. It's really good. But I don't know. I think I'm, my goal in here is just to get some inspo, browse around, maybe get a few pieces like pillows and crates and stuff. I don't really know. I still have so much time to look for furniture. We'll see. Y'all are in off white right now. I think I'm gonna get an earring. I love jewelry, I love accessories. I feel like it's super fun. Y'all, now why are we trying something on in off white? Cause this piece right here, this piece right here is from the runway and she's $3,000. But honestly, for the hell of it, we're gonna try it on. Fun idea, fun idea, fun idea. What's the, what's the Hey, hey. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. Happy birthday, dear Jamie. Happy birthday to you. Hey, Papa. You look so bomb. God damn. Cheers to Jamie. vlog hey god damn let me put some lip gloss on gloss it up she only to go on gloss it also i had a pimple right here like literally two weeks ago and it still is giving mustache still giving mole it's still giving like ew anyways hi guys it's literally sunday i literally am it's it's noon on sunday and i'm uploading this today so this is some real vlog section this is like in real time like this is me today right now Hey, <laughs> um, I'm in the Starbucks line right now because I, f I don't know why there's some things that just make sense together, like some kind of rituals, like, and I need to get a Frappuccino on my way home from a long week in New York, like hungover as well. It's great. I don't know why. So I'm going to get one and it's the double chocolatey chip Frappuccino. Mmm. There's a caramel one too. Let's see. I'm going to just get that one and call it a day. Should I get a large? I'll get a medium. Starbucks, what can I get for you? Hello, um, can I do a medium double chocolatey chip frappuccino? Okay. That's it. That's accepted. Thank you. Part of me was like, do I pay right there? I was kind of awkward. I was like, thank you. And I just screwed away. She's like, you're going to pay? But no. New York was so fun. Like this weekend was probably one of the best weekends I've had in a while. Lots of growth going on. Lots of fun being had. Like overall, it was a great motherfucker weekend. I met Buki's mom. We hung out with Alicia Keys casually. Um, had a date night. Went shopping around on Saturday. Like I wish I vlogged more that day because I left my freaking camera. 
yeah we went furniture shopping we got really good matcha like the vibes were just up like everyone was out and about and we met so many girls we met so many supporters like walking around and shopping in soho and stuff too so that was super fun and then we got ready had a fun ass time like getting ready and celebrating jamie last night so that was a night both nights we literally like got home and crashed like talk about grannies like we was talk about grannies like usually i'm here to rally but i don't know me and my friends lately too have just been like even i was trying to see taj last night we were trying to link and then he was texting me at like he was calling me facetiming and then he texted me like 10 minutes later he's like i think i'm going home i was like me fucking too thank you uh, yeah yeah Oh my God, this shit looks so good every time. Like, if you're an OG, remember in Fashion Week, I did at the end of my last Fashion Week vlog, or like, I think it was last September. This girl, girl, this is such a dream. Oh my God, it does it for me every fucking time. Oh my gosh, it is so good. Oh my gosh, it is so good. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay, so for our next week video, I think I'm gonna do like a Q and A, like chit chat vibe. And the week after, I'm hopefully gonna be closing on my house. So that'll be like a closing, kind of like first night in my new place vibe. Oh my god, house tour and all of it. So it's finally time, girls. I hope. Stay tuned, and I love you. See you guys next week's video. Bye.